Alec Baldwin, what happened on that movie set? The latest out of the Daily Mail. Prop Masters Union claims Alec Baldwin fired a live round at the cinematographer on the set of the movie that was staffed with a local New Mexico crew. Actor asked, quote, why was I handed a hot gun after accidentally killing her and wounding the film's director? Let's watch a clip from Reuters. Actor Alec Baldwin accidentally killed a cinematographer on set of an indie film titled Rust after firing a prop gun on Thursday. That's according to authorities who say he also wounded the film's director, Joel Sosa. Police in New Mexico confirmed in a statement, quote, Two individuals were shot on the set of Rust, Helena Hutchins, 42, director of photography, and Joel Sousa, 48, director. Authorities added that Hutchins was flown by helicopter to the University of New Mexico Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Sousa was taken to a different regional medical center to undergo treatment for his injuries. The severity of those injuries is not immediately known. Variety reported the fatal incident happened at the Bonanza Creek Ranch in New Mexico, a popular production location south of Santa Fe. Security at the film set confirmed it is on lockdown. No charges have been filed related to the incident, but police said they are investigating the shooting. Baldwin's representatives did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Now, of course, if anyone who's been following these types of incidents in the past knows that on Hollywood sets, there have been problems in the past with the use of prop guns. And by the way, prop gun just means a gun that's brought in as a prop. So you could have a real gun, you could have a dummy gun, you could have a rubber gun, you could have a gun that's plugged right to the barrel, it can't fire, etc., etc. There's a whole range of this. And because of incidents in the past, like it happened to Brandon Lee, who was Bruce Lee's son, there's been a lot of regulations put into place here. We need a full investigation to understand what went wrong. Uh, tweet up from Adam Baldwin. If you're pointing a weapon at anyone on set without permission from the armorer, director, and first assistant director, then you should be reprimanded for the first offense and fired for the second. If you do so and harm or kill someone, you should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, next, Robbie Starbuck, who is himself a director. I would be surprised if this doesn't end with manslaughter charges for one, if not two people. The person responsible for the faulty blanks, if that's what was fired, and the person who shot the victims. Alec, as an actor, has safety protocols that, if adhered to, should prevent this. Look, folks, I'll say this from having been in the military, uh, from having been around firearms for most of my life. The first rule of gun safety is treat every gun as if it were loaded. Right, that is rule number one. Lots of other rules, right? Always aim your gun down range, et cetera, et cetera. But treat every gun at all times. Even if somebody checked it before they handed it to you and you saw them check it, you check it again. Check everywhere. Check the magazine, check the chamber, check the slide, check everything. You need to be careful about this and we demand a full investigation. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.